wide sea, especially for kids. The place is now in the hour one, so come on kids and have some fun. Now to last much more too. Yeah, come on kids, it's all for you. Come on kids, do it kids, yeah. show the world just how it is. Hello, good to see you. How's your day going so far? Good? I hope so. We intend to make the rest of your day just great. I was just reading the paper, an interesting article in one of this morning's papers. This is a photograph of 10 kids who have won a trip to Canberra as part of a Project 2088 competition. The students were asked to write a letter addressed to someone living in the year 2088, saying why they were proud of Australia's past achievements and recognise one thing from our history which could have been improved. Well, I guess when you come to think of it, there's a lot of things that could have been improved. Well, all of the letters that the kids have written are going to be stored on microfilm and they won't be opened until the year 2088. However, we do have a little quote from one of the letters sent in by Louise Bruton. And she writes, I'm very proud of the way that Australia is conserving our sites and protecting our unique animal and plant life. There are many conservation and wildlife parks around Australia with park rangers to help keep the beauty of our country alive. Louise, that's terrific. Thank you very much. And hopefully we're going to be... Um, talking to some of the kids right here on Come On Kids. On today's show, though, we have a dingbat cartoon, and Dean Hutton joins us from the Curiosity Show, and he's going to be doing an experiment right here. And if it's anything like my experiments, well, who knows what's going to happen. It could you be very said it, Robbie. Thank you very much. That's just what I needed. Thanks yeah, but I haven't finished reading that, Winky. Winky, anyway. don't distract, because I haven't finished reading that, Winky. Oh, come on, Ta-da! Ta-da! Ta finished reading it. Well, could you push my hat back a bit, please? I can't see anything. How's that? What do you think? What a beautiful kite. Yeah, but Winky, will it fly? Robbie, go fly a kite. Oh, Winky. Oh, well, actually, Go Fly a Kite took on a new meaning in Tasmania recently during the World Bicentennial Kiting Festival. The skies became full of life and colour in every shape and form when entrants from eight different nations showed off their kiting skills. Hundreds of kids also took part in the four-day festival. We asked a few of them what they liked most about kite flying. Oh, making them and then seeing that they fly. Did you make this one? Yes. Well, um, it's fun because um, the most is colourful. And colourful they were. Most of the kids had made their own kites, many from just garbage bags and strings. But with a little win and a lot of fun, they proved to be just as effective. But certainly some of the more artistic kites were quite spectacular. One of the most impressive kites was this 15 metre centipede with 400 different pieces of material and many hours of hard work New Zealander Peter Lynn formed his creation. Its purpose is visual impression. You know, I'm trying to uh, create sky sculpture. I'm not so concerned about its aspects of it as a kite. Its, its purpose is art in the sky. Whether it was for the sake of art or just for fun, the festival proved to be a great success. I love that circular kite. It was enormous. Beautiful, wasn't it? Well, I guess we've all flown kites at one stage or another. I had trouble keeping mine in the air. But what about this? Yep, parachuting. It looks like great fun, doesn't it? Can you imagine having the wind in your face and just having that parachute over your head? Happy landings. But if you're not that adventurous, you might like to try another sport, parasailing. Well, that's fun. All you need is a boat, a long steel cable which is attached to the boat at one end and to you at the other end and behind you is a parachute. As the boat takes off, so do you, up in the sky. It's fantastic. Joey decided to try that out and you'll be able to see that straight after the Edison twins and I'll see you later on. Mm -hmm. 